Welcome to Jen's Daily Dish. Today we're going to making a brioche. Brioche is delicious. It is an eggy bread with a little bit of sweetness throughout and just utterly scrumptious. A must have in any household as far as I'm concerned. And also because brioche, my bell, flour and sugar go together well my brioche bell and it is beautiful brioche dough comes together really quickly it doesn't have that many ingredients it just has a few resting periods and that's it your big decision on this recipe what kind of brioche loaf do you want do you want a very big brioche loaf do you want two smaller brioche loaves or how about 12 mini brioches the choice is yours two and three quarter cups all-purpose flour, quarter cup non-fat dry milk, three tablespoons sugar, one and a quarter teaspoon salt, one tablespoon instant yeast, three large eggs. I added an extra egg yolk in because I'll be using that egg white for the coating for the top of the brioche. So you can use three large eggs or three large eggs and one egg yolk cold from the refrigerator. Quarter cup cool water. 10 tablespoons unsalted butter. Room temperature to cool room temperature. Mix with your dough hook or in a bread machine for 15 to 20 minutes until it becomes a satiny, beautiful dough. The dough looks very satiny, but it is also very soft. Go ahead and place it in a lightly greased bowl, and we're going to cover it and let it rise for an hour. Try to shape it into a ball best you can. As you can see, the dough rose quite a bit, which is excellent. We're gonna go ahead and put this in the refrigerator overnight. And so what the refrigerator is going to do is to slow the fermentation process, as well as chill the butter that is in this recipe. And that is going to make the dough easier to work with tomorrow. Hey, if you're liking what you're watching, please subscribe. I'd love for you to like the video too. YouTube watches everything that's happening. And so the more that you like and the more you subscribe, the more videos I can make. And that's a win-win for everyone. I just took the dough out of the refrigerator where it sat overnight. Now, have you made your decision? Are you making one big brioche? Are you making two individual loaves, which I'm doing, or are you making 12 mini brioche? Now is the time when that decision comes to play. You'll see how aerated the dough is. I'm gonna divide it into two because I have two nine by five, eight and a half by four and a half-ish containers that I'm gonna bake it in. Put a little bit of flour down. I noticed that the dough, um, while it is much easier to handle, is still a little sticky. So the flour will help me out here. To make it fun, you can go ahead and braid your brioche that are going in the different pans. Cover with plastic wrap and let them rise for two and a half to three hours at room temperature. All right, it has been three hours and they definitely doubled in bulk and are ready for the oven. 
Don't forget that egg white that we saved from yesterday. We're gonna go ahead and mix that with a tablespoon of milk and we're gonna brush that on top. And then one of my favorite ingredients ever, sparkling sugar. Yes, why not to add sparkling sugar to everything? <music> the oven they go 350 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes. Check on them after 15 to 20. You may need to tent them with tin foil so that they don't burn on top. All right, they look ready. I tented them. Let's check the temperature. Should reach 190 degrees. Yep, we are there. Let them rest in the pan for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna invert them and take them out. All right, it's only been five minutes, but I couldn't wait. Let's loosen the edges. already see the lovely texture there. Okay, lovely mini brioche loaf. Let's do the other one. All right, let's take a look. That sparkling sugar looks great. Coating is nice and firm, and it pretty much sounds hollow, which is what it's supposed to be. Um, the crust looks like it's going to be nice and crisp, which is lovely for a brioche. Now let's cut it open and see Oh, look at that. Look how lovely that looks with all of the, the holes and it looks like it baked really nice. This looks like it's going to be absolutely delicious. All right, now it's time to take a bite and I can't wait. Mm, that is really nice brioche. It is a little bit crisp on the outside. There's not too much sweetness through it but it definitely tastes eggy and bready like a brioche should. Yum! Mmm! If I can do this after never having made brioche before ever, you can too. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check me out at Jen's Daily Dish and more on Instagram.